Hello YouTube, this is Krosama. And here we have the Clonch Custom High Grade. Looks freaking awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and do an unboxing. Uh, for the front cover, you can see the Honch, uh, the Clonch Custom and uh, just the normal version over here in the MS mode. And uh, you know, just shooting off some beam rifle, uh, some beam shots and all that. And you get the Diva all messed up right here in the back. Looks pretty cool though. So you can see High Grade, Gundam Mage, Clonch Custom, the 31 in the line. Came out in uh, 2012, and uh, let's go ahead and look at the sides. Now here you get some really nice, uh, like, spread out of the runners uh, from the build Gunplay, of course. You get a front and rear shot of it, which looks pretty cool. And um, here you can see it in, in its uh, MA form, and it looks pretty cool, though. Uh, you can see the gimmicks right over here. As far as uh, landing gears, you can put the hands underneath the action base. And you can get some nice uh, stickers right here for the eyes. You can put that on top for that cool visor effect. And um, here you get some extra thrusters for the back. Um, this guy does look pretty cool in his little action poses. Uh, you know, just see him dashing like that. But there's going to be a, a large variety of um, poses that you'll be able to put him in. And here you can see you can put the uh, Dots rifle right in the back of his back. Uh, so I paid uh, 1023 Yen for it and retails for thirteen hundred, so it's a very cheap uh, mobile suit. So you could probably buy this in a bulk if you, you know, so wish or whatever. Um, so here's some uh, detail information about him. His little illustration art right here and a little CG um, picture of him. And here's a non-detailed uh, picture of him right here. So let's go ahead and uh, do the unboxing. Oops. Okay. Okay, so starting with the A runner, you're gonna get a really nice uh, light blue. Uh, it's I guess you would call it a teal. Looks like a teal to me. Uh, but here you're gonna see the thrusters over here, uh, the bodies right here. So shield bits, you know, some other really cool parts, and the, these look like the wing effects right here, and uh, parts of the head. So this is actually a really really nice color, and uh, you. I, I think this is gonna be a pretty amazing mobile suit to build. And moving on to B. You get some uh, regular white over here. Um, you know the legs over here is definitely gonna look a lot like uh, like the Genoa's kind of style, that kind of bulky but yet simple, you know, look. It looks pretty good though. Uh, here's some more wing effects right here. Well, not wing effects, but uh, wing parts right here. And uh, here's the actual face. And you know, it's not it's not really bad. Uh, I'm I'm pretty digging. Uh, I'm digging the white and all that stuff. So it looks pretty good though. Let's uh, move on. So here is runner C, and here you're gonna get the action base, and these are pretty much gonna be like the inner frame parts, and they look pretty good. You know, just regular, regular gray, nothing really too bad. And uh, here you're gonna get the landing gears, which is pretty cool too. So that's really about it about that that runner. And here's runner D. This is gonna be with the hands. Uh, so you get a, a wide variety of hands. The actual, uh, you get the open hands and everything, and they're yelling out in the background. <laughs> but um, here it's like part of the gun, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like it. I uh, could be wrong though. Uh, but more air frame parts and all that stuff. Uh, so that's really about it for this. And of course, you're gonna get your poly caps. Nothing really too big or fancy. Just your uh, normal array of poly caps. Here's the visor on a CL6 runner. So looks pretty good though. You're just gonna slap that right on. No big, uh, no biggie. You get two beam savers that's also going to come with this guy, so that's pretty sick. And here's your sticker sheet. Not you know much to it. It's pretty pretty simple. Uh, you're gonna probably just put these over the, uh, the thrusters. This looks like it's going to be for the face, yeah, and uh, for the sensors. And uh, we'll probably dodge rifle and back of the head. All right, so looking at the you know, information booklet. So, the instructions. Here you can see the pilot right over here. Pretty cool guy. And uh, open it up. And you're gonna see the what? Uh, Genoa's O or O Genoa's? I think that's what it was called. Uh, I'm not really too sure though. <clears throat> Here's uh, the captain. I don't know why they're showing her. No one cares about her. And uh, pretty, you know, some pretty cool stuff over here. You can see some uh, nice poses in him in his uh, flight mode, rear and view, uh, front view, and space pirate, Vagon. 
and regular clutch. And here you can see all the weapons. I, I love this effect that you put the beam saber right inside the uh, the hand or arm right there, and uh, yeah, little gimmicks and all that stuff. And your color guy is pretty simple. All right, so looking at it, you're gonna start off with the body, of course, and the head. And you gotta do the arms, shoulders, and all that good stuff. And then you work your way down to the legs over here, and then more legs. Waist, final assembly. They always say final assembly right here, but you still gotta do more stuff. But uh, this is definitely the weapons and all that good stuff. And a color guide, which will show off the hands. Well, actually, this is the transformation part. And there it is. And you can see you swap those little parts out, um, put in the landing gears. So. That's gonna be about it for uh, for this review, guys. Uh, just stay tuned. I mean, with only one, two, three, about four runners, uh, this guy shouldn't take long at all. I, you know, I'll probably be done today, but um, I'll be uh, seeing y'all later.